there are no problems in this world whatsoever. Not one. Any disturbance, any problem, difficulty, whatever it is that you are thinking of in your mind right now as you hear this, none of those things are real. Inherently, every single thing in the world is neutral. It's neither bad nor good. And yet the perceptions that we put on these things is ultimately what leads to us you know, perceiving them in such ways. If you perceive something to be bad or a problem, a difficulty, it's going to present itself that same way to you. If you and I go outside and it's raining, and I love the rain, but you hate that you just made your hair, you've, you just finished doing your hair and you don't want to go outside because it's raining and it's bad. The same rain that presents itself as a neutral thing that has no perception inherently is a great thing for me and yet a problem for you. And so using the same logic, there really are no problems in life whatsoever and we kind of pick and choose what we want to create problems of in our lives. As ironic as that sounds, the problems that we have, we're choosing to have them. We really are because ultimately every single thing in your life, even if it's money problems or love problems or whatever, any huge thing that seems as though this is real, this is a problem, I have to deal with this, regardless of the intensity of that thing, we are still actively choosing to have those things as problems, to have those things as disturbances. It all comes down to choice. And once you kind of understand this concept, it really is quite the simple concept. And once you have that awareness, you are now able to actually take that knowledge and do something about it. You're able to actually restructure the things that you've seen as problems in your life to then bring fortune instead or bring peace and prosperity instead. The problem ultimately isn't that something is wrong. The problem is that you think that it should be one way or another. The universe, life, God, whoever, doesn't care what you think should be or shouldn't be. It's going to be as it is. Everything will always be as it is. But it's when we start to put these ideas and beliefs that something should be one way or something should be another way that we start to experience these things as problems and difficulties in our lives. If we go back to the rain example, right? I'm walking outside. I'm expecting it to have, or rather to be, a beautiful day out. The sun is shining. I want to go to the beach, but it starts raining. And so now this becomes a problem because I believe that it shouldn't be raining. I believe that a good day at the beach is... A sunny one with no rain and so now with the rain comes it's coming neutrally the rain is not coming to cause me problems the rain is not coming with negative energy i'm bringing that energy into my life myself because i believe the outside has to be sunny because i believe it shouldn't be raining if you really come to accept things as they are, truthfully as they are, and limit the perception that you put on things, or rather just be conscious of the perception that you put on things. A lot of things in your life, a lot of problems in your life will very, very quickly not only disappear, but often turn into blessings. Boredom is another great example, and I love speaking on boredom because, you know, in the society that we live in now, we are so, so overstimulated. And it's easy to just say that, but just to kind of understand the implications of this, boredom is at an all-time high, and yet, at the same time, we're also at an all-time high of being stimulated as a society. It's so difficult for most people to simply sit still and just do nothing for one minute. Literally one minute, try it out yourself right now, at 20, 30 seconds in, you start to feel uncomfortable. If you haven't particularly practiced meditation or silence or stillness or any of these things and you've been continually feeding into this overstimulation that society gives us, which is most of us, unless you're conscious of it, you have really no choice but to be overstimulated the way everyone else is. It's just the way society is right now. But boredom is at an all-time high and from so many people that I've spoken to and from my personal experience, 
boredom really starts to present itself as a problem in your life. I remember I started feeling a lot of peace and stillness in my life not too long ago, and I almost started sabotaging it. I started trying to find problems, starting to create chaos or something, because this stillness led to me feeling bored, not knowing what to do, not understanding what's going on in my life, because everything was so calm and still, and there were no problems, that I started creating them. Boredom itself is not a problem, it's yet, it's once again, it's the perception that we have around it. We're so used to and conditioned to be doing something all the time, or to be preoccupied or even distracted 24 hours a day. For many of us, we go through our lives and if we look at society now, the last several years, many of us have probably not spent more than five minutes cumulatively in the last few years just doing nothing just being completely still now when i say doing nothing i don't mean relaxing or you know just chilling i really mean doing nothing sitting and doing nothing but breathing and just observing true stillness and that's really difficult for us to come by because we're so addicted to being distracted we're so addicted to having something. When I was experiencing this boredom, this lasted a couple of weeks until I really recognized what was happening. Anytime I felt this even slightest bit of boredom, I would feel uncomfortable in my body. I didn't know what to do with myself. I would find something quickly to distract myself with. Whether it was playing a video game, going on my phone, eating, Whatever the case is, you know, everyone has their own vices, it doesn't matter what it is that you do, but ultimately, it's the fact that we feel that boredom and we think that it's wrong. I think boredom has a very interesting connotation in society, and we really just kind of replaced boredom with peace. Because ultimately, they are the same thing. When you are bored, you're simply not stimulated, and that's all that it is. If we replaced our feelings of boredom and started to see them and perceive them as feelings of peace, I think a lot of people's lives would really, really change because, again, everything is your perception. This problem that you think you have in your life, it's there, it's real for you. I'm not going to deny that you don't have problems, but those problems that you are perceiving and experiencing are there from your own choosing. Not only did you choose to have them, but you're continually choosing to hold on to them as well. And so again, once you kind of become conscious and aware, now that you've heard this information too, you're now, if you weren't before, you're now aware. You can consciously take action of changing the beliefs that you have around certain things. Removing the burden from yourself of all these problems that you don't want in your life anymore. There is no problem in your life whatsoever, except for the ones that you're choosing for yourself. And nothing inherently is bad, nothing inherently is good either. Everything is as it is, and if something is off and something is disturbing you and something is a problem or bad, remind yourself that it isn't. It simply is as it is, and you can choose how you want to perceive it. Perceive that rain as a blessing, perceive that rain as something exciting and new and different from the sunny weather that you've been experiencing it'll really shift your vibration and change your entire state of being not just for the moment but for the rest of your life really as long as you keep practicing this conscious mindfulness 